And as a teacher, I teach uh, in a theater department, and I very often teach theater, classical mm -hmm. drama, drama of the ancient Greeks. I'll have students every year uh, approach me and say, what's wonderful about this, this drama is it seems like it's speaking to me. I had one student who said, I normally don't relate to, to, to drama unless it's about people very close to myself in age or ethnicity. And yet these Greeks, and this, this, this kid was not, was not Greek, he said, yet these Greeks, they always speak to me directly. And I thought that was, I mean, it was wonderful to know you were teaching. It was a wonderful feeling, you know, you're teaching something that's to them, that you love, that can uh, affect young people this way when they're, they're exposed to it. But I think the, 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 the student was expressing really universal truths. We tend to, to look down on universal truths as being politically incorrect. But I think there are still a few of them if you look at it, look at it the right way. And the Greeks found that way of, of, of distilling the human experience, our primal conflicts, the, 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 the conflicts between East and West, between male and female, between uh, what it would, the quest, they ask the right questions, is so often said about the Greeks. Of what, what is the nature of law? What is the nature of lawlessness? And they, it, they're about asking questions. They aren't about, when I said universal truths, maybe the universal truths really are the universal questions. They don't give you a comfortable, tidy explanation for the way the world is. You're never going to read in one of the great tes texts of Aeschylus or Sophocles uh, that uh, God is or is not this or that. You're going to read various contradictory possibilities of what God might or might not be if there is a God. And these texts ask these questions constantly and find ways of formulating questions to help make us think for ourselves. And very often the kind of thinking they want from us is a paradoxical thinking, a thinking that, 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 uh, that uh, that admits of no easy or tidy answers.